Hi everyone, it's Vicki, and I am here with my very last Trump Club. Wow, it is packed full. Uh, I think I better unwrap everything. Okay, so normally I would have a note from my stylist right here, but instead I have a note saying, just a heads up, Nordstrom is closed, Nor not Nordstrom's, <laughs> Nordstrom Trunk Club is closing. And this will be your final trunk. I want to let you know about all the ways Nordstrom Style can help you look and feel your best in the future. I knew they were doing something instead. We offer everything from outfit inspiration to online chat with a stylist to one-on-one -on -one styling appointments in-store or online. To check out the ways we can help you with your styling needs, go to Nordstrom.com slash styling all the best. Oh, all the best, Ashley. Let's just get right into the items. First thing, I don't like the fabric. I can tell you just by touching it is by Michael Kors, which never turns out to be my favorite. But it's a blouse, and it's just a, a poly feeling. It's not the light poly, it's a knitted kind of poly feeling. Uh, top, it's just a black top. I'm trying to, it's just, it's kind of a high neck too. It looks pretty high. Um, it does seem to have a, a decent sleeve. I like the sleeve. It's got a little Michael Kors gold tag in the back. It's just a, a pretty plain top. Let's see what it says about it. There is a tag on it right here that says $74. I would not pay $74 for this. For this. Tulip sleeve jersey top. 2X Michael Kors. Michael by Michael Kors in black. $74. Yeah. So it's a tulip sleeve. I can tell it has a little bit of something. My arm in it. Oh well. It's hard to see with black clothing. When I try it on, maybe it'll show better. But yeah. Uh, that doesn't thrill me, so let's go to the next thing. <laughs> All right, so th this one looks more in line with something I might want on my vacation. It is a, although it's pretty, it's pretty light, pretty sheer, too. Okay, double layer, I'm not seeing so much. Hopefully this doesn't, um, you know, stick to ya. What do you. What do they call that? I forget. <laughs> um, it is by Castellon. It's a waffle weave thermal underwear kind of thing with a v-neck. It's in the color blue lace. I'm just reading the tags on here by Castellon. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, it took a minute because there's like four Castellon items on here. This is the split neck long sleeve rib knit top, $19.60. So it's a really good price. I would definitely, if, if this doesn't, you know, stick to my middle and I'll or look totally unflattering, that probably would be a really good one for a vacation. I like the color. And the price is right. So if I end up not getting to wear it a lot, I won't feel as bad. Because I do live in Florida. But, you know, we have some cool days and stuff. Alright, so next is another Castellan. This is Castellan t-shirt in a v-neck. This has that... I forget the... There's a name for this print. Slough? No, not slough. Okay, I, this looks like this... T-shirt is a little more ample near the bottom. That would be nice. That's a nice way to make a T-shirt. Okay, I believe that this is the Cas uh, Castle rounded V-neck tee in blue, size 2X for $19. Yeah, plain T-shirt with a pocket. So let's see how that pocket hits. All right, so next, which is this? Uh, it looks like a dress, yes. With a rounded neckline. Looks like it has elastic up right under the bust line, maybe, and it's kind of long. It's, I think it's a maxi, and it is by, who's it by? Another Castellan. <laughs> That's why it was so hard to find the first one. Okay, it is just called a sleeveless maxi dress by Castellan in blue, two X, thirty nine dollars. So wow, what a price! I think these, I got some markdowns in here or something. Yeah, nice. Because I doubt that this was $39 to start. It's very plain though. Alright, so I like the feel of this t-shirt, although it is a little bit heavy. Ooh, it's long sleeve and the heaviness. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy. It's long sleeve. It looks small around the bust area. It's got a little bit of a scalloped hem. Not much. I think it's a long sleeve. I think it's white. Yeah, it's got a pretty high neckline. I don't know. But it would look good under something. Is what I was thinking. And I think that's what I asked them for, a couple things like that, that I could wear under something. And this is Treasure and Bond, you know, like a, because I have a couple like plaid, long sleeve cotton shirts for doubling up. 
long sleeve organic cotton blend top. So it's organic cotton blend, so it won't be as expensive as regular organic cotton. 2X Treasure and Blonde in white for $11.60. The fact that it's $11.60 instead of like $11 or $12 tells me this is probably a markdown too. Hey, we like that. Prop Club selling their stuff. Oh yeah, because it's got a regular price tag on it right here from Nordstrom, $29. Okay, so I like that. I hope that fits right. All right, next is the fabric I don't really care for, and I think I have seen this top before. It is like a tee, but it's, you know, polyester crepe or something, and it has this, like, frayed fabric edge. Uh, I guess if you were wearing this under a blazer or something, that might be kind of cute. I just, I don't know where I would wear something like this. It does have a price tag on it for $49, and it is made by Halogen. So let's see what it says. It is called the Raw Edge Tank. Size 2X halogen in ivory, $49. So I thought it might be ivory. Yep. Going in the box. Yeah, I don't know they get a lot of it. Okay, another Caslon. This one is a higher neck, though. And it's, I love the color pink. Oh, it's got um, uh, ties at the arms. This reminds me of the peach colored one I have. And this, again, has that fabric that's got that little waves through it. I forget what they call that. Okay, this is the tie sleeve cotton and modal t-shirt from Caslon 2X pink for $29. Yeah, I think I have this in peach. All right, so next is by Eileen Fisher. Uh, that has a tag on it for $178. So it's a little on my price point, considering it's a sweater. And I think it's a three quarter length sweater and it's, it's uh, cropped, not crop crop, but you know, like waist. And the pocket is down here, which is interesting. Let's see what this says. It says organic cotton in linen slub. That's what this is called. These kinds of cotton with that design. Slub pocket knit top. 2X in white, $88.99. So yes, it's on sale. Okay, so I think we got some more linen pants. We do. They're in black. They're pretty sheer because I can see my ring light right through them. <laughs> they have a tag of $59 on them. And they are by Treasure and Bond. And they're hard to show because they're just long. They got a nice big wide leg. Yeah, they look like they'd be super comfy. Okay, what it says about them, pull on linen blend pants. Size 2X, Treasure and Bond, black, $49. I think that's what this said, right? Didn't I say that? Yeah. Oh, no, these are $59, so they're $10 off. All right, so what is this? Oh, this is a, a cardigan. Oh, I have a lot of navy cardigans already, so I don't need this. Uh, it's definitely that slub. Look, this is a very loose weave. I don't know, you can probably see me right through it. <laughs> it's cute. I like it, but I just, I have a couple navy blue already, and it is by Halogen. And let's see, it's got a Nordstrom tag on it for $69, which is a very average price I've learned for style box long cardigans. Okay, it just says long cardigan, 2X halogen blue, $69. So it's not on sale, that's the regular price. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need this, I have other ones. This is lighter than those, and if I'm gonna buy one for my travels, I wouldn't buy a lighter one, so. All right, so next is a box of shoes. No hint as to what they are. They come with a band on them. Let's see. Oh, okay. Again, another odd color. Well, I thought they were red, red when I saw them. They're not red. They are... Oh, they look red in the camera. Okay. Yeah, I thought they were actual red. They, in real life, they're more of a bricky kind of red. Sant, uh, Sant Antonino Sandal, size eight and a half, free people in red, $58. I like the design of them. Yeah. I would prefer if they were as bright as they look in the, the camera as I see see them. Yeah, so we'll try them on and see. Oh boy, the, the bottoms on them are really hard. I don't think that my feet are going to like them. Okay, next is a brand I very much recognize. Sorrel. <laughs> 
I've worn them. I have stocked them a million times in stores when I lived in Alaska. So let's see what Sorrel's got to offer here. Ah, it is okay. It is, you know, basically a flip flop, but it's got a nice traction on the bottom. Just a double band. We'll see where this hits. It's a work. Black shoes, hard to tell. So even this might be because I got such a high arch. We'll see. Yeah, they're cute. I like them. They seem pretty well made. They have a nice grip. Let's see what this says about them. What's the very first item on here? <laughs> the Ella 2 slide sandal, size eight and a half, Sorel Black, $70. So let's see if they work. All right, so I've got a lot of clothes to ta try on. I've got two boxes, so I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, so I got the first t-shirt on. It's just a plain t-shirt, you know, it does have a pocket. It's got a pretty deep round here, um, kind of the length that a V normally gets. I'm used to these rounded necks being a little higher, but it's just, um, it comes pretty far over on the shoulders. It doesn't come to here where normally, you know, something would be. It's uh, a little more spread out. And it has what some plus size clothes have where the back part of it just goes down awfully far. You know, it's like, I don't know why they think <laughs> we wouldn't want something to come up here just because you're plus size. You wouldn't want it to come up, you know, more like here like you know normally but anyway so I don't like the cut of this whole neckline thing here it feels pretty good I think it is a little bit it's not clingy but it shows everything because it is such a light fabric I do like the color it is a nice quality okay so next is the pink top uh, it is made so much like one I already have that's in sort of a somewhere between coral and rust only it's lighter fabric than that one so it's very similar but what is very different is that this has a drop sleeve as you can see the seam here and here which gives it sort of a dolman ish yeah I, I look much better when a, s a shoulder seam is up there <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the difference there but yeah it's got that dolman look um, otherwise it feels pretty nice. It's a like the blue and a very light t-shirt material. So it's not, you know, anything heavy or, you know, it's not real substantial. It's real light, which is, you know, good for hot weather. But um, I, I do think that these fabrics tend to shrink up a bit because they're just a, you know, looser weave to get this lightness usually. Okay. But yeah, so a, this is what I thought was a crop top. It looks that way. It's very boxy here. It's a very, very light sweater. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I, it's cuter than I thought it would be, <laughs> even with jeans. And it comes down lower than I thought it was because I, like I said, thought it looked cropped. Uh, the sleeve, feel a little short, especially this one, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're probably fine and I don't know. But it is cute. It does have a, you know, a high neck, but not so much that it's bothering me. It has a pocket, which is got some light basting just to keep it in place because I'm sure it's going to roll over. It's a rough edge, so it'll roll over once it's washed. So I think it's going to have sort of a, for lack of a better word, a sloppy look. Yeah, I think I got this because I think, you know, I mentioned that um, going on Alaska cruise or a warm, you know, colder weather cruise. So yeah, yeah, it's just a bigger boxy thing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, I am wearing uh, the same bra I wore yesterday for a couple hours. I put the same one on today. <laughs> so it's not uh, a bra with a lot of lift or support. or It has only padding in, you know, the areas that you want to make sure don't pop through. Okay, so, so I have on two pieces. I have on the cardigan. So you can see how long it is. It's longer than my shorts. And I have on the white long sleeve t-shirt. The cardigan's nice. It's very light, but it is nice. Um, it's got a roll, you know, enough down here to roll up the sleeve a little. It gives it a nice look. Navy blue, nice color. Yeah, it doesn't have any buttons or anything like that. And it's, it's got a, a little um, slip there. It's pretty long in the back. Might be the same as the front. I can't really tell here. Um, it did stick on this fabric here going over the sleeves. I kind of had to 
yeah. So it does, you know, if you were wearing like something that was poly or rayon, it probably slide right on. But this this fabric here it was like I had to like make sure that this seam got in my armpits here because it wanted to be down here. But yeah, so it's nice. All right, so next is the t-shirt, which obviously is a little snug. It's nice. It feels really good. The neck is definitely high. This is a perfect layering piece. And part of me says, well, since it would be under something probably, it's okay that it's tight. It might even be better because then it won't add as much bulk maybe. But I need to be able to take that off and wear it. And I just wouldn't. I would see this. I would see this. <laughs> see these. Uh, yeah. So, but it is very nice. I would definitely need to size up in it. Fabric is just wonderful. But uh, yeah, pretty high neck, but it's not irritating me. And again, if I had a big shirt over it, that would be perfect because that's what you would want to see, you know, when the collar is open on the shirt. That gives that a nice balance, I think. Okay, so or next is the thermal shirt. And to be honest, this is the one I had the least um, hope in when I unboxed it. But now I'm beginning to think it's my favorite of everything I've tried on so far. Uh, it is that thermal kind of fabric and in a nice pretty blue. Yeah, it's a little bit thin, but I would definitely wear something under it probably. I mean, it's thin for this kind of fabric, but I didn't want to put anything on it right now because it's plenty of warmth for my house and for Florida right now, but I'm thinking in terms of wearing it like to Alaska or something. So you could have a turtleneck or anything under it and for another layer. Um, it's got an interesting sleeve. I didn't realize this. It's like the sleeve actually stops. Here's the hem. And then there's this other stuff, which you could leave long, you know, but I think they're meant to roll. And so it looks like you have a blue shirt coming, <laughs> another, like a sweater coming out from your actual sleeve. So yes, it's warmer in here than I thought it was going to be in this. Um, I don't know, the camera almost makes it look like it's a little bit, uh, you know, I always lose that word when I need it, <laughs> but it's not, it's not in, in the bathroom, the, the lights I have going on here show things more abundantly, more clearly than what they show just in regular house lights. So <laughs> it's the Michael Kors top with the cute detail on the sleeves, what do they call these, tulip sleeves or something, it's got a nice amount of roundness here. It's uh, a nice length for me. Uh, it's in a fabric I detest. It's sort of like a, it's a very poly feeling like a jersey. I think it's like a jersey knit, poly knit, kind of little slinky. Uh, yeah, I'm not crazy about the fabric. I, um, and I don't need it. It's kind of, it looks to me like something you'd wear with trousers to work. Um, Definitely not something I would just wear as a summer top because it's not cool at all. Um, yeah, I just never had that good luck with Michael Kors stuff except for my glasses and sunglasses. Okay, but, so I'll start with the top. Well, let me just start by saying these two items together look kind of frumpy together, but the top. Um, I'm not a big ivory fan. Uh, I do like myself in white, and I think that's why I like that boxy ja um, sweater a little bit because I do like myself in white, but I don't like myself in ivory. It looks better on the camera right now that I'm looking in than what it really looks like. But I think this is cute um, with this. It has the unfinished edge. You know, if you were working in an office and you had to wear a blazer, but that's a lot of layers. So it's sleeveless. It would look, you know, really nice, I think. But uh, I don't really have a need for that sort of clothing. All right, so on to the pants. Um, the linen pants are very comfy. I do like them. And I do like this top, by the way. I, just, I don't need it, and it, and if I did need it, I'd probably try to find another color. Um, all right, so I have the pants pulled way up. In fact, my belly button's here, and the top of the pants is here, <laughs> because I've said before, I'm short-waisted, and that's it. And I even already have a little crotch strip with that, but that happens with linen pants, it seems. And they're big, apple ample pants. They do add bulk around here, because they have pockets, and the way the pockets come to the front, and they just add bulk, like when I tried to put this, you know, tried to put this with them. It added bulk. Nice, though. But, yeah. I don't know if you see the back of the pants here. 
and they're just a big elastic waist. I have them on with the Sorrel shoes, <laughs> which I like, but they my feet are kind of moving in them, and they are going to end up hitting in that place right at the nail bed that I don't like, so I'm not going to keep them. But uh, yeah, a lot of times when I have pants like this, what I'll end up doing is just because I'm short waisted, as I've said a zillion times, I'm sure you're sick of hearing it. Uh, <laughs> but in case you're new and you don't know why I'm doing it, I will typically turn this over. And then it has a much better feel and fit than having it way up here. Although having it up there, does, you know, I'm so used to it now. But yeah, the, the pants, I really like the way they feel. But I think they just add so much bulk to me around the middle. And I honestly don't know how much wear I would get out of them. You know, they're, to me, they just seem a little dressier than that sort of peachy pair that I got and kept recently that I wore, those were much more, to me, take the shoes up, much more casual, like these feel dressier. Okay, the red sandals were a bust because I immediately slipped and then tried them, got them back on and kind of slipped again. So I'm not, I'm not looking to break anything today. Uh, so the blue maxi. Well, I'll start by saying that I think, like I said, I thought I, I looked decent in white. I think I look decent in cobalt. That's always been a color that I've got compliments on throughout my life. So this is cobalt. I think it's very pretty color of it. Um, this is very soft. It's nice and soft and it is very comfy. Almost like I could sleep in this is what I'm saying, I guess. Yeah, it's got, um, I thought it had a slit. Yeah, slits on this side but not the side. And it's a nice length. Um, do I need this? I don't know. I'm not in need of a maxi dress, but I think I might like this better than the ones I've got. Um, it has elastic here, which I have pretty far pulled out, but you could pull it down here. But I look better with these things, like more toward the bottom of the bus than around the waist. So I don't know if I think it looks pretty decent on me. It's very plain, and you know, if I had a wide belt, I think that would look really cute, actually. Especially if I wanted to wear it, you know, down in the waist. It's definitely not too small. Okay, I am back with the finale to see what is going to go on the hanger in my closet. Again, I haven't put my laundry away, so I have no, no hangers right now. And what is going to go back to Trunk Club, and I did just check the app. Uh, to make sure there were no further reductions on these prices, and there weren't. These a couple of these items were already marked down. Uh, so here we go. All right, so we're going to start with the uh, cardigan. I think it is nice quality. And by the way, I did have on makeup and everything, my nice retired day makeup, but and was ready to shoot this video about maybe two hours ago. I was waiting till the sun was in the right place to use, you know, a lot of nat more natural light. And um, I was looking out the other window and I saw two turtles in the street. What well, was raining a little and I just had to get them out. They were not by each other. I think they were traveling together, but anyway, the point of the story was there's no way a car could have gone through there without hitting one of them. Yes, we have a quiet little neighborhood, but the people at the end typically drive pretty fast because they're almost home, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, um, so I was out there trying to help them and I got rain on a little, then they came right back out after I took them across the street to the pond and all that. They came right back out. So I went out again. This time I got drenched. The neighbor tried to help me and one of them's claws, you know, cut him. Um, anyway, long story short, we got them back in the pond and they still came out, walked across the street and I just kind of sat there outside making sure no cars came while they went. And I got drenched, so drenched that I had mascara in my eyes and was burning it, the whole thing. And my hair is still kind of wet because I didn't dry it. So, but anyway, enough of that. And I am not going to keep it. I don't remember how much it was now. How much was it? It was like 59. Oh, there it is. $69. All right. So next is the maxi dress by Caslon. And it is $39. And you know what? I think I'm going to keep this. I think this is going to go on a hanger in that closet right there. <laughs> That's where I hang all my long dresses now. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this because I think this is a nice maxi. The other casual maxis that I have, uh, I think they've 
seems a little bit aware. I mean, they're okay. They're still wearable. But this one has a nice new fresh look, $39. I think that's a fair price. So I'm going to keep that. So that's one item I'm keeping. All right, so next is the blouse by Halogen that... Um, I can't remember what it said about it. The raw edge tank. It's $49 in ivory. It's a very nice top. Um, you know, it's kind of got an interesting detail. I think I've had this in a box before, but I'm not fond of ivory. And it's, I just, it looks like work wear to me. And I'm not into that these days. All right, so next are the, at what turns out to be linen blend pants by Treasure and Bond pull on. I think these might have just been a size too big for me when I started thinking about all the things that went wrong with them. They are $49 and they were comfy and they seem nice, but um, they seem just maybe a little too nice for my totally casual lifestyle these days. I uh, just like the other ones that had better and they were a better fit. If you don't have a lot of hips or butt and you want to look like you do, <laughs> These might be your ticket. These might add a little something, something. Okay, so next is the Michael Kors tulip sleeve jersey top that was $74, which I think is a lot more money for this than what I think it's worth. And yeah, I didn't even, I mean, the style of it is kind of cute. The fabric hated it. Um, so yeah, it is a back to trunk club. Next is the, is this Caslon again? This is a real Caslon box. It's the long sleeve rib knit top in blue. And uh, it's only $19.60. It was, I think, a sale item. And uh, yeah, I think this might be a good item for Alaska. I just wish that the white top worked that I, and then I could wear it under it. <laughs> but this is gonna go on the hanger. Actually, I keep long sleeve things like that in a drawer. Speaking of the white long sleeve top from, who's this, Treasure and Bond? Is that who this? Yeah, Treasure and Bond. This is on sale right now for $11.60. I really, really like this top, and I might see if they have it in a 3X, because if they do, it might be a good one to have to take with me on vacation. But yeah, I do really like it. But at this size right now, it has to go back. All right, so next is this sweater. Very light. I'm not sure that it would really work as a warm weather piece. Um, maybe maybe because I live in Florida, it would be a fall piece. I don't know. But um, it, who's it by again? Oh, yeah, Eileen Fisher. Yeah, it's organic cotton and linen slub pocket knit top. Because it's organic cotton, it is $88.99. I like it, but I just don't think I would get $90 worth of wear out of it living here and the lifestyle I have and where I live. I just don't think I would. If I did feel that I would wear it, if I lived somewhere that had, you know, up north, not way up north, I mean like Georgia north, um, South Carolina north, where there was a little bit of change of seasons, maybe I would could, you know, kind of think about it, but no, not here. All right, so the next two are the t-shirts. First is, well, I call them t-shirts because that's the fabric they're out of. First one is the pink one, and it is called the tie sleeve cotton and modal t-shirt for $29. Um, I, I didn't like it on me, but I do think it's a cute. This one, I do like this shirt, but I think the cut all through here, through the back and here, it's all too, too much. They made the opening too big on this, at least for me. It's a Caslon. It is called the Rounded V-neck Tee, and it was $19, so it's a, you know, it's, it's not a bad price. And it's got a pocket. I'm not crazy for pockets on these, so. All right, so the last two items are the shoes. I'll show them to you, and neither one of them are going to work. The Sorrells, um, they, this thing here was hitting at the bottom of the nail bed, which I find very uncomfortable. And they are $70, but look at the treads on them. And then the other one that is not going to work are the St. Antonio Sandal in Red for $58, which I was a little disappointed about because I think they're really cute. But this is so slippery. It looks like they um, someone must have tried these on before because they got a little bit of, look like maybe, maybe worn a little bit. And it wasn't me because I had them on for <laughs> uh, a, a 
<laughs> well, more than a second. I did not have these shoes on for over two minutes, I'm sure. But, you know, I went to, and I, I got this jute rug here, and I just kept slipping on it, trying to get one on and then the other, and then trying to walk on it, and slipping it. They were a trip hazard for me. So those are my, I'm from my very last trunk club. I'm sorry, Nordstrom's, it didn't go out with a bang. Why well, did it have to go out with a whimper? But it did. I'm just keeping two items. Maybe I'll see about sizing on the t-shirt, but... Yeah, it was a good run. I really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching the video. I know it's going to be long. And this is the last of my um, merch that I had made. And there'll be a link down below if you're interested in looking at any of it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.